Today's game pitted two teams against one another who had previously been unbeaten in the tournament. After Kenya reached 104 for 6 in their 20 overs, the Richelieu Eagles went in for 105 runs to not only win the game, but to keep their 100% winning streak intact. Namibia continued doing great with the bat, but it was not all smooth sailing as they lost a couple of wickets along the way. In the end, however, the partnership between JJ Smith and Jan Freilink saw the host team over the line for yet another two points. As the Richley Eagles remain the only unbeaten team now, NBC Sports spoke to coach Pierre De Brain for his assessment of today's game. Yeah, look, it's, it's a win. We're very happy with the win. Um, I thought we were excellent with the ball. Uh, you know, it was very similar to the bowling discipline we had against Zimbabwe the first game. And we just didn't allow them to, to get a good start and, and, and to kick on from there. So we, you know, I'm very, very pleased with how the bowlers um, bowl today. You know, bringing Pukia France in uh, for me was, was a great matchup uh, on this wicket especially. And, and against the left-handers and his bowling figures, 1 for 11 and 3 was really outstanding. And all three spinners, in fact, bowled very well. Um, yeah, a little, little bit uh, reckless with the bat, I suppose. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, 105 was, wasn't enough on, the, on that wicket. Uh, excellent knock from Jan Freiling just to control things. And, you know, that's, that's what experience can do. It can just compose you and, and just say, guys, don't worry. Uh, you know, I'll handle this. And the way him and JJ Smith finished that, that uh, the innings and that partnership of 55 was outstanding. Captain of the Richelieu Eagles, Gerard Erasmus, who played his 50th T20 match, was also a happy man. Yeah, that was the goal coming in. So after um, the first game, it was the goal to win the tournament. After the second game, it was a goal. And um, it's still the goal after the fourth game. So uh, looking at those last few games, we're really looking to um, push forward, uh, get two points in both games um, and, and go forward and win the tournament. That was the goal in the start and it, it will remain until the last um, ball spot. At the moment we're winning and uh, if my country is winning then I'm a happy captain. Up next is Tanzania for the Richelieu Eagles on Tuesday morning with the first ball to be bowled at 9.30.